What's up guys, Dr. Houlihan here again. Not doing a shoe review today, I'm here to talk to you guys about something that I have been passionate about for a long time without even really understanding why. I have been diving more into the research lately and I'm here to tell you guys the benefits of grounding. So simply put, grounding or earthing is the process of connecting your body to the earth physically via direct contact. Usually this is done just by standing outside in the dirt or on the grass, but there's also like kits that they started to sell where they stick a metal rod down into the earth and they wire it up and connect it to your bed or your office chair. The main concept behind grounding is that you're transferring electrons from the earth to your body. The reason why this is beneficial is because those electrons can act in your body in different ways and most often they produce a reduction reaction. Now if you guys are familiar with the term oxidative stress, you may have heard this before. This is the cause for a lot of different problems within your body and a reduction reaction is basically reducing oxidative stress or going in the opposite direction. A reduction reaction is taking free radicals within your body, adding an electron to that molecule and stabilizing that molecule so it can no longer cause damage to other cells. So there's a ton of different benefits from grounding. I'm going to show you guys a graphic here. I don't know how many of these benefits have been substantiated by the research or if these are theoretical models or if they have been substantiated by the research to what degree and how strong the evidence is, but there's all sorts of different processes within your body that can be affected by oxidative stress and therefore benefited by adding more electrons and getting that reduction reaction. There's three different categories that have definitely been substantiated by the research that I'm going to talk to you guys about today. So the first benefit of grounding is that this process reduces inflammation within your body and therefore reduces pain. I'm going to show you guys a picture of what happened to somebody's knees after just 30 minutes of grounding. So this study was done in a clinic with electrodes and wires and everything just to standardize the data. But you can see how from 30 minutes of this process the inflammation decreased significantly within the knees. This is true of other studies, they'll look at people's backs and their feet and their shoulders and their elbows and their wrists and everything else and the inflammation is reduced within the body. They can tell this just by the thermal imaging. Typically when we have a reduction of inflammation within our bodies, we have a reduced experience of pain as well. So this next category has four different benefits that have all been substantiated by the research that are all related to each other. So the second benefit to grounding is having reduced blood pressure, reduced blood viscosity, improved circulation, and accelerated wound healing. So these are all very interrelated because these four benefits are deriving from the one same process. This is adding electrons into the blood itself and the electrons have a natural propensity to propel each other and therefore the blood is less likely to become clotted or become viscous. Less viscous blood means less clotting, means reduced resistance to circulation, which means improved circulation, lower blood pressure, and improved wound healing times. All of this just from standing outside, isn't that great? So the third category, this is a little bit more qualitative or subjective in terms of the data, but the third category demonstrates that people can have reduced stress improve sleep and improve energy throughout the day. Who doesn't want that? All from just 30 minutes to an hour of standing outside in the dirt or taking a walk in the grass. I want to take a quick second to shout out the sponsor of this video, my nephew GB. We're at Barefoot Park every week. Love you buddy. So I want to show you guys another graphic. Granted, we understand that correlation does not prove causation, but the relationship between these two factors is intriguing at the least and remarkable at best. So the yellow line on this graphic depicts the increase in sales of synthetic sold shoes, and the red line depicts the increase in prevalence of diabetes in the United States. Again, it's not that correlation necessarily proves causation, but the relationship between these two is undeniable. We know that diabetes is very closely related to cardiometabolic health. What with the sugar causing inflammation systemically, we know that blood viscosity, blood pressure, resistance to blood flow, stenosis, peripheral artery disease, all of these things play a role in diabetes. And so if you got your feet outside on the floor taking in those electrons, you reduce the viscosity of the blood, you reduce the blood pressure, you increase the circulation, you decrease the inflammation, you get less diabetes, and you go get yourself a pair of barefoot shoes, you'll be in good shape. So those are some of the benefits of grounding. I know that there's a lot of research ongoing, there's research coming in the future. Be on the lookout for this coming soon in your future because I anticipate that this is going to be a larger part of like a regular medicinal protocol call for many people. I hope you guys enjoy this information, you find it helpful. Feel free to drop comments down below and I'll see you guys next time.